Hey guys, this video is aimed at those of you who maybe haven't bought a mill or you're about to buy a mill or maybe you're just new to machining. I've had some questions from a few people about R8 collets and arbors, ER collets and collet holders as well as the Tormach tool system and kind of how it all fits together. So this is a face mill with an integral R8 arbor. You can see that there's a keyway machined into the shank and then there's a threaded hole at the top. This threaded hole is what the draw bar will engage to pull the tool up into the spindle and then that keyway will index with a key that's inside the spindle and that keeps the tool from spinning uh, in the spindle or slipping in the spindle. When you insert a tool, you just tighten up the draw bar. It takes a few turns, and then with an 8 millimeter wrench, you can get it really tight, and that'll make sure that the tool's not moving around on you. And then, of course, a few turns the other way, and that's how you will remove the tool. So this isn't really the fastest way to change tools, but I think it's kind of the standard for these smaller mills. This is the drill chuck and arbor that are included with the mill, and this is not an integral arbor, so you kind of have to tap these together, but... You can see it installs the same way. You always want to wipe down the arbor, make sure that there's no debris on it because that can throw off your uh, your run out or give you run out. And then you see when I spin the tool a little bit, the key lines up with the keyway and the tool jumps up into the spindle. This is Tormox R8 conversion collet. This is basically a three quarter inch R8 collet and uh, you could use it to maybe hold a three quarter inch end mill if you like, but it's intended to be used with the three quarter inch straight shank Tormach and Tormach compatible tool holders. So this is an ER32 collet holder. It's not a Tormach tool, but it's compatible with the system. And the great thing about this is it only takes about a half turn of the draw bar to tighten or install the tool and then a half turn the other way will break the tool loose and you can swap it out for another collet holder or end mill holder. So it's quite a bit faster and that's kind of what the convenience is. Now this right here is just an ER32 collet and of course they come in tons of different sizes and it goes into the collet holder. Anyway, that's everything I had for this video. If you have questions, post them below. We'll see you in the next one.